Now, the most bizarre story of the week, indeed saga, is about Natasha Bolter. She, you remember, was the star UKIP candidate, all set to be Member of Parliament for South Basildon, until the whole thing completely unravelled. Now, the problem was not so much whether or not Natasha had had an affair with UKIP General Secretary uh, Roger Bird. After all, older man has an affair with attractive younger woman. That's not a story. That happens every day. No, the problem with Natasha is that she has the worst memory of any woman I've ever come across. For a start, she can't remember how old she is. Sometimes she says 34, sometimes 35. In fact, she's 39. But plenty of women uh, don't give their correct age. That's not a crime. My own wife has celebrated her 49th birthday 10 times. No, it's worse than that. She, for example, she can't remember how she left the Labour Party. She says she resigned. No, Natasha, you didn't resign. Your membership lapsed because you didn't renew your subs. And then she can't remember what happened to her husband. She says he was killed in a car crash. But when it was pointed out that her supposedly late husband is in fact alive and well and indeed living round the corner from her, she revised her opinion or her memory, said, well, maybe they had a divorce, but she can't remember. And then she can't remember which university she went to, or indeed if she went to university at all. Now, originally she claimed that she studied uh, politics and economics at uh, Oxford University, Wadham College. Unfortunately, Oxford University has no record of her ever being there. Now, it might have been uh, Oxford Brooks College, but they've got no record of her either. So maybe I'm thinking it was the Oxo University and uh, she was studying to be the new Oxo mum because uh, sadly Linda Bellingham has died. But then, the worst of all, she can't remember how many children she's had. Now I've never given birth to children. <laughs> I'm sure I would remember if I had, especially if it was more than one. But sometimes Natasha says she's got two children. Sometimes she says four children. Sometimes she says five children. Now, what I think has happened is that the UKIP spin doctors, and why UKIP has spin doctors, I have no idea. After all, the, the press give UKIP more coverage than all the other political parties put together. No, UKIP wants to promote its star candidate, a woman from an ethnic minority. So they ask her uh, about her children. Good thing to have children uh, for a candidate. Five? No. I'm, I'm sorry, Natasha, that's, that's not possible. It's all right for a man to have five children, but for a woman, you know a woman is always asked, how will you find time to look after the children and be an MP as well? So five is out of the question. So Natasha says, well, four, too many. Three, too many. Two, all right, we'll settle for two. So it's the official UKIP policy for Natasha to have two children, sometimes she forgets. But the reason that UKIP wants her to have two children only is because it's the ethnic minorities who are having too many children who are causing the increase in population, which, uh, together with immigration, is also causing a congestion on the M4. Now, Mr Bird says that... Um, his relationship originally with Natasha 
was purely professional. He chose her as a star candidate on purely on merit. Now, uh, she says that um, he sexually harassed her. That's despite the fact that she sent him a, a load of texts uh, saying how much she adored him, but that's another issue. But let's take uh, Mr. Bird's word at face value. Let's suppose that he, he did select her and promoted her to the top rank of candidates purely on merit, purely professionally. No, Roger. Roger the Dodger. Roger the Dirty Old Man. No. It wasn't professional. It was incredibly amateurish. Because Natasha's CV which you inspected is absolutely riddled with inconsistencies and indeed lies. Now, here's Natasha. She can't remember how old she is. She can't remember how she left the Labour Party. She can't remember what happened to her husband. She can't remember how, ch how many children she's got. And to cap it all, she can't even spell the name of the Oxford University College which she may or may not have gone to. I'm Chris Graham. Thank you for watching.